That's Andy. He's one of the stars of Animal Planet series, I'm Alive. Andy's a 23-year-old male. He stands six foot one, and when he's in his peak weight every October, he weighs in at 478 pounds. He was captain born in Missouri, and he comes from the Anheuser-Busch Corporation, where both of his parents were orphaned out of Manitoba, Canada, and being a Canadian bear is why he's very large for a black bear. Now in captivity, these bears live to be about 30 to 35 years old, because a proper diet, shelter from the elements, and veterinary care was a wild cousin's only average about 20 to 22. Right here we have is Jackie. He's not related to Andy, but he also comes from Anheuser-Busch under the same circumstances. He's also 23 years old. He stands just about six foot and reaches a maximum weight of 454 pounds. Down on the end, pacing back and forth, we have a Cindy. She is a rescued orphan because of Hunter killing her mother out of Greenville, New Hampshire, but she's now 15 years old, stands shy of five feet, and reaches a maximum weight of 282 pounds. And she is also the proud mother of our two seven-year-olds here, Bucky and Brock. And she is also the proud mother of our brand new baby boy who was born one week and one day ago by the name of Charlie. We're gonna bring Jackie out first. And what he's gonna do for us, what we call a rollabola. Bears have a tremendous sense of balance and agility. Even out in the wild, they like to play on very large logs, rocks, and climb trees, as I stated earlier. This Jackie will now demonstrate. Are you awake for this, Jack? I know you got a full belly after dinner and you don't really want to do it. All right, get up there. Now, Jackie used to do this on his hind feet only, but as I did say, he is now 23 years old, and bears are very much like people. The older they get, they tend to develop diseases such as arthritis, so we only have Jackie do it the way he wants to do it each time he does it. All right, get up there, Jack. All right, get up there and get your balance. Take your time. Come on, Jack, you can do it. Get your balance. Atta boy, turn around here. Come on, Jack, you can do it. Good boy. All right, you ready? Hey, there are people over here. All right, get him up, Jack. Come on, Jack. Pick him up. Come on, Jack, you can do it. Atta boy, how about another one? Ah, you can do more than one. Hey, you can do more than one. Come on, a couple more. Good job. How about one more? He said, nope, two's enough. I proved my point. <laughs> All right. Well, what are you waiting on now? He's a bit of a ham. He said he couldn't hear the applause. Can you hear it now? Well, no, they're not going to give you a standing ovation. You didn't put that much effort in it. <laughs> now, we train these bears. We do it strictly on a reward basis. We not teach them to do anything that is stressful to them or beyond their capability. Now, we're going to put Jackie up. We're going to bring Cindy out now. You ready, Jack? All right, come on. Well, get in here. Hurry up, turn around. Good boy, Jack. There you go. All right, Cindy, you ready? Come on, the show's down here on this end. Come on, Cindy. Up. 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 Cindy, hey. Cindy, get in your seat. And you notice our female on her hind feet. That is a natural posture for a bear. Even out in the wild, when they're scratching their back on a tree, catching a scent, or when the males would be sparring, they would be on their hind feet. And we're going to bring Cindy out now, and she's going to roll a barrel for us, which is very similar to a bear playing on a very large log. Now, Cindy started out on all fours, but as she gained confidence in her own balance ability and in me, she now knows how to do it on her hind feet only also. Are you ready, Cindy? All right, get up here. Cindy, up. No, turn around here and face me. You gotta roll it this way. All right, get up on it. Let's go. No, we're not gonna roll it like that. Get up on top of it. Cindy, well, get up there. Well, get up on it. Hurry up. You can do it. Get up there. Get up there, a girl. All 
right, bring it here, Cindy. Bring it here. Bring it here. All right, you want to try it on your hind feet? All right, turn around. All right, get your balance. Are you ready? Are you ready? All right, Cindy, hop. Not like that. <laughs> That's cheating. All right, that's how she gained her confidence, but personally, I think that's a lazy way out. <laughs> All right, grab your seat. When I was younger, before I started working with bears, I was out hiking the woods, one of them. The bears started falling. Well, we picked up speed, but so did the bear. You know, when you can't outrun a bear, you shouldn't even try, because they can do about 35 mile an hour and a 50 yard dash, which is faster than a racehorse. Then they can still maintain about 17 miles an hour. Well, I immediately sat on a log, yanked off my hiking boots, still in my tennis shoes. My friend hollered back to me, said, what are you doing? You're not going to outrun that bear? I said, no, but I'm definitely going to be ahead of you now. <laughs> We're going to bring Cindy out one more time. She's going to do something for us. Capital Bear is well known for and that's dancing. We're going to see if she'll do a little waltz for us. Are you ready, Cindy? All right, come here. Hop. Hop. Hop, hop, hop. Are you ready? All right, waltz. That a girl. All right, Cindy, waltz. Good girl, Cindy, waltz. All right, can I have a kiss after that dance? Can I have a kiss? Ah, that girl. Don't ever try that with a bear out in the wild. All right, grab your seat. I bet you're wondering how I got her to kiss me. Yeah. Well, it certainly wasn't my luscious lips. It's called Skittles in my mouth. <laughs> she prefers M&M's, but I don't because they melt my pocket before they get to my mouth. So how did you enjoy the show? Awesome. Well, we hope you learned a little bit about it today. As soon as I put the bears up, I will be available to answer any questions you may have about them. But we also have a unique opportunity. I'm going to bring Andy up, and he's going to sit right over here where you can actually get your photo taken with him. We're going to be up to six people in the photo. We take a digital photo and print it right here for you. All the proceeds for this goes directly back into the bear's feed, well-being, and a relocation program for orphan bear cubs. So if you'd like to have a photo of Andy, just line up right over here and I'll be right with you.